In the middle to late 1980s, with the deepening of opening up and reform, many deep-seated domestic contradictions began to make themselves apparent. Prosperity and security are the common aspirations of the Chinese people. In the face of economic blockade and sanctions imposed by Western countries, the response of the Chinese communists was clear. The 11th Asian Games was held in Beijing. Thanks to diligent efforts, China had overcome the external challenges and broken through the sanctions imposed by Western countries. In 1990, the development and opening up of Pudong began to accelerate. The launch of the two exchanges and the introduction of the futures trading mechanism sent a strong signal to the world. China's economic reform would press ahead unswervingly. In the early spring of 1992, the 88-year-old Deng Xiaoping visited a number of cities in South China and delivered several important speeches. Deng's South Tour speeches, like a strong east wind, blew away the fog of doubt. In October 1992, the 14th National Congress of the CBC was successfully convened. It determined that the goal of China's economic system reform is to establish a socialist market economic system. In September 1997, the Grand 15th National Congress of the CPC was held. It was at this Congress that Deng Xiaoping theory was established as a guiding ideology of the CPC and that the party's basic program for the primary stage of socialism was proposed. A series of strategies for China's development in the new millennium was determined. Accession to the WTO is an important decision made by the CPC Central Committee. The Ministerial Conference so agrees. On December the 11th, 2001, China became the 143rd member of the WTO, entering a new phase of opening up. The Chinese communists with Jiang Zemin as representative-in-chief withstood a series of severe tests. At home and abroad, and from Mother Nature. Holding the great banner of socialism with Chinese characteristics firmly in hand and brought a vigorous country into the 21st century.